I have with me Mr. K K Rajesh from the C P I M. He is among the eight MPs against whom the suspension order was passed. We'll speak to him for more. Sir, today the leader of the House in Rajya Sabha, Mr. Tawar Chand Gehlot, says that if these suspended MPs they do not put any conditions before us and they apologize, then they can join back in the Parliament. That is the stand that they are taking. But what is your response to that? It is the uh, government to apologize, not the suspended MPs. Why? They should not. Uh, they need not apologize to us. They should apologize the people of our country, farmers of our country. Yes, they had passed three draconian laws without following the procedure established by the parliament by the by law and without adhering to the constitution. And in an unconstitutional manner, they had promulgated. Uh, the, uh, they had passed these laws. So your boycott of the rest of the parliament session continues as it is. No change in your stand. Already, uh, opposition leader had declared that uh, uh, declared that we are uh, uh, boycotting the entire session. It has already been declared. If the government was serious at that time itself, government, government could have intervened and say that we will consider, we, we will withdraw the suspension. They did not say that. What did they do? They want to pass all other. Draconian laws, which are very, very important, Essential Commodities Act, Bank and Regulation Act, these are all being passed, and now they are saying that you come, come here. What is the meaning? So it is ridiculous, ridiculous. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. So that's uh, what the suspended MPs have to say. Their boycott of the session continues. They say it's not the suspended MPs that have to apologize. It is the government who should apologize. In New Delhi, with camera person Sushil Rathi, this is Sukirti Dwedi for NDTV.